Hi everybody, this is Gatsaf for The Sad Truth. Uh, some of you may remember my post yesterday wherein I discussed the fact that I was planning to go to my next Halloween party in a social justice warrior castrato costume. And I mentioned some indispensable parts of being uh, such a castrato. That includes, of course, a red wig. It includes mm, a fish mouth. Uh, this is a term that I just learned yesterday, so thank you for those who taught me it. Uh, it includes having uh, a safety pin. And notice that, if you can't see here, I've got a lot of safety pins. And the reason why I've got all these is because it demonstrates uh, where I score in the hierarchy of victimology poker and oppression Olympics and how immersed I am in the rage of social justice warriors. Uh, I'm still missing the nose ring. I'm still missing the Che Guevara t-shirt. Uh, there's a few other elements that I'd like to incorporate into my costume, but just wanted to let you know, rest assured, I am working on my social justice warrior castrato uh, outfit. Uh, by the way, try to imagine the following scene in the sad household. Uh, I call my wife from upstairs to tell her, hey, hey sweetie, <laughs> Do we have a red wig in the house that I can wear? Uh, that's the life in the sad household when you live with the Godfather. So there you go, folks. I'm slowly transforming into a social justice warrior castrato. By the way, just to reiterate a point that I recently made uh, on uh, one of the shows, uh, satire and humor and uh, sarcasm are typically forbidden in many of these fascist totalitarian uh, ideologies precisely because uh, this form of discourse is incredibly powerful in tackling bad ideas. So there you have it, folks. Make fun of the idiots. Make fun of the castrati. Don't say that I don't love you. I am donning a red wig for your viewing pleasure and a bunch of safety pins, and my fish mouth. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.